With only three weeks to go until general elections in Italy, it's totally unclear who will ally with who to form a government. One thing is clear, though, that the Democratic Party led by Pierluigi Bezzani is in the lead. But Bezzani's party, like all the others, is unlikely to win enough votes to rule alone. Italy's current Prime Minister Mario Monti is continuing to go about his government business while also heading up a campaign for his newly formed centrist faction. It's trailing the Democrats in the polls and also coming in behind comeback king Silvio Berlusconi. The business magnet and former Prime Minister has launched what he's called his last great electoral battle and promised tax cuts if he wins. Monti stuck in third place behind Berlusconi and the Democrats, polling at around 15% of the vote, the same level as this man, Beppe Grillo. The former comedian has shaken up the campaign with huge online support and he aims to shake up policy as well, as he explained to Euronews. Less materials. Instead of 40 tonnes per person, use 20 tonnes. You can produce the same objects with half the material. A third of the energy, instead of 6,000 watts, which is the European consumption average, let's reduce it to 2,000. And instead of a 40-hour working week, 20 hours. Grillo's got momentum, but with three weeks to go, anything could happen. Euronews will be showing more exclusive interviews with key players in the lead-up to the Italian elections on the 24th and 25th of February.